sleep. I technically hate it. I wish I could just stay up all night and, I don't know, read books, learn a language, have a poop, basically anything else. But my mortal being cries out for it every night. It's how our body heals up. Speaking of which, just ignore this. Look, it's got iron lead on it. I crash out easy and man, is it sweet to get a good night's sleep? But the thing is, I remember when I didn't sleep all that good, and it's amazing what no sleep can do to you. <laughs> I turn into Mr. Hyde, this bitter, non-smiling, walking trash pile, basically. And look, when I say no sleep, that's not like one bad night. It's like two weeks straight of bad night sleeps. It's a special kind of tide. It's almost like your body learns how to run in safe mode and boy do you wish you could just reboot. But the thing we're looking at today, I actually bought for myself with actually no intention of making a video with. This was just me trying to survive at the time. <sighs> oh, what's that smell? Oh no, it's the Australian bird tangent time. Look, a magpie. Yeah, they get swoopy, but only during nesting season. All other days, they are total bros. And like, they make an amazing noise. I believe they call it a warble. Oh look, it's a peewee. These are little feathered idiots. Most of their days spent fighting other peewees or their own reflections. Oh, Aussies, if you have a black reflective car with like these weird scratches all over the side of it, it's a peewee fighting its own reflection. Hey, at least their call doesn't sound like a car alarm. It's a car alarm, and I mean it, it's just as loud too. So back last year, a pair of them set up right outside my bedroom window and they would kick off at five in the morning on the dot. I was up working really late every night riding the coattails of this crazy YouTube channel and working on my drum streams that only just launched by the way. I tried earplugs, but like TMI right now, my ears get real gunky real easy, yeah? Gross, I hate it, I didn't ask for it. And pushing up all that up the back of my ears for weeks on end, just it turned my ears into a mess. I actually couldn't do headphone videos for ages. The next best thing I got were these squishy earplug things because they actually don't go in your ear. They kind of smush around it. But you gotta keep throwing them out as they lose their stick and fall out in the night, meaning you're getting a five in the morning wake up call. That's the most annoying way to learn that you need to change them. I was losing the battle. And so when all this was happening, Bose came out with these, Ugh, the sleep buds. So I gotta tell you right out the gates, these are not headphones. No, these are full blown sleeping equipment and nothing else. They won't play music or podcasts or anything outside of the sleep app that you gotta use. All right, all right, I know you're all leaving the video and some might even be unsubscribing as you ask. Well then, like, what's the stupid point then? They're stinking headphones, mate, and they're not headphones. Like, make up your mind, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as I said, these are sleep equipment. <laughs> Here are the Prisma Audio Earbuds. These are really, really compact. Helps that there's no battery or Bluetooth guts in there. These are the KB Ear Neons, and like, whew, wow, that, that is tiny. You get the, the rubber dingus off of there. That's actually the guy making the noise. The Bose Sleep Bud. It has a battery, Bluetooth circuits, and a speaker. I, you, what? It is tiny. So yeah, of course you can sleep with these in, but using regular headphones to sleep with is a lot like sleeping on a couch. That's not that bad, eh? Maybe some of your fondest memories are falling asleep in one watching a movie with someone you dig. But after week number two of sleeping on the couch, it's not fun anymore. These might be tiny, but our ears are really, really sensitive, and you can wake up with some killer ear pains, or almost like sleeping on your arm funny, but inside of your ears. These are all about making them as small as possible. Possible. Like the battery only lasts nine to ten hours because that's all you're trying to go for, right? There's no music or podcast or anything because it doesn't stream the content from your phone. It only uses the Bluetooth to install the chosen sounds that you want into it. We'll talk about what noises it makes in a bit, but it uses way less battery to read a tiny little bit of inbuilt storage than to stream from your phone constantly. Basically, it's built to fit in your ear for the purposes of sleeping for months and months and months on end. Like these just become a part of your nightly routine kind of thing. And that's why the case is the way it is. Yeah. It's really big, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna live by your bedside like rubber base because yeah It stays on a table. It's why the lid slides open almost like a makeup case And it's awesome because they're real easy to fit and remove But the base is also a big battery that lasts days USB-C good If only Apple knew of USB-C and would like put it on their phones already But then also not have a history of forcing it upon us with their laptops 
Apple. The LEDs here is like the battery indicator. The app has more detailed battery icons, but you get quite a few nights out of it just on the battery. Definitely a long weekend stay somewhere kind of thing. And these lights here, I'd help you find them in the dark. And it's actually really well done. Like they don't look like they do much, but when you got those two in the morning, go to the toilet, but keep your eyes closed as much as you can to not lose the sleepy vibes eyes. You can see inside perfect. Mm. Ooh, good magnets. Actual? Oh, man. Oh, God. They're the best magnets yet. Yeah, for some that just lives on a table, that's a ma- There we go. So these are sleeping equipment. So how could they help? For a kickoff, they are low-key earplugs on their own. Not ones you'd wear on a construction site. But passively already, really useful. As again, they don't go right inside your head. They are designed for sleeping. Even without any charge, they could almost suit people as they are. But they do play sounds. You're like, white noises, rain on cobblestones, my favorite. Waves crashing, distant traffic, or even just trippy soundscapes. Uh, it's all really nice through these actually. And both argue that having nice sounds to distract against the lame sounds is the best defense to tackling my arch nemesis, the peewees. I'll talk about my experiences in a bit, but there are other things that they can help with. Tinnitus or ringing in our ears. I get it when I'm really stressed out. I mean, sure, I play drums constantly, but I've always worn hearing protection. Like some of my fondest memories are being heckled when I was like nine years old for putting earplugs in before playing the drums. And all my mates are like, nah, just, just deal with it. But when I'm stressed, oh boy, they can just ring on another planet. And other people seem to get it too. So it's a common trigger. Some of the white noises this thing plays, just make it disappear. And look, no sleep can cause stress. More stress means less sleep, and you get this awful feedback loop going, and these might be the things that help break that. Get a week's good rest, and then you don't even need to use them again. Oh, another cool thing, alarms. I know you're all like, oh, like, big deal, Nana's clock's got alarms, so like. But since they're earplugs, only you can hear the alarm. I mean, this would be genius for couples where one works real late night sometimes and only they get the 2 a.m. wake up call. And it's really gentle wake ups too. I like how they've done the alarms. It's just like, ah, two in the morning never tasted so good. So my experience with them as I've actually had these for ages now. Yes, they work. I usually have the sound on the lowest volume a lot of time as you can hurt your hearing, not just with one big loud noise, but a long time of quite loud noise. It's all about exposure time. You don't want to have 80 dB music playing for eight hours all through the night and then jump up and start a noisy day. Cause you can have these quite loud, but it will warn you. Uh, you can set up the sound to turn off after a few hours, like when you think you'll be asleep, which is useful. It's usually what I did, but you can just leave it on all the time. They take time to learn how to fit because yeah, you know, sometimes that would flick out and be really annoying. But they do have quite a few different sizes and who knows, you might need a different size for each side. Ears are weird, mate. I just left this plugged in all the time. So when I wake up, I just chuck them back in there. So they always had full battery for me. Sometimes they were handy just to wear passively with no noises at all, but then still use the alarm feature. If it was something really important I had to be up for. And, uh, it wasn't all perfect though, as after a few weeks, it actually really wore on the inside of my ear. Nothing like wearing regular headphones after even just one night, but the skin on the inner side of our ear is super thin, almost like it was never meant to do any physical work for the last tens of thousands of years. We all kick around a lot more in our sleep than we realize, and you know, just something just wiggling in your ear and pushing against it. After a while, like it got really painful sometimes. It wasn't after a single night, it was after like, again, weeks. But that could be unique to me. I'm sure there's some boys out there going, oh, you just need to harden up, mate. Well, you tell me how then? Because other than that, they totally work. And I'd gladly wear them all the time if I could. I've since moved away from that house, mainly because it was a dive and it was falling apart. Thank you for all watching this channel. <laughs> I thought that place was going to be my low income tomb. <laughs> Here's a chunk of the wall that fell out one day. I keep it as a memento. My whole YouTube empire was born in that house and it was just known as Dank House. <laughs> but if I know I can have a sleep in, I I will definitely wear these and it makes a difference. So for me, using them two or so times a week works for me. And they're always on standby on my bedside table. You know, it's nice, we just can't sleep. I'll whack these in to give myself the advantage. They ain't cheap though. I mean, this is proper headphone money, this. They do have a 90 night trial. I see what you did there. Instead of days, you said nights because it's for sleeping. Yeah, while well, you got to pay to try them. 
But I mean, if you've tried a lot of stuff to try and get some sleep, I, I don't know, this just might work for you. And sleeping is really hard for some of us. And again, I remember when it was for me. 90 days is 90 test drives. And if you sleep like an angel with them, I'm sure the few hundred they cost if, of whatever currency is devaluing in your pocket would be worth it. Hope they keep developing this idea as houses are getting knocked down with six being built in their place. Like everyone has more neighbors than ever now. And this might be the thing to make you not go to jail for flinging your own poo at your neighbor's Toyota starlet in a sleep divide frenzy because they keep honky goodbye at six in the morning every day. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate, because one dollar a month, I do extra videos. There's there's so many of them now. I've forgotten how long I've been doing this patron thing for. So in this after show, we're looking at something old and smelly, but it's of a similar idea. The Sony speaker pillow, Dare 25. Just love how unpeaceful she looks. But yeah, same idea, only this is, whew, this is really old. I love that the Sony logo has never changed. But yeah, we're gonna have a look at this and see if it stinks smelly butts. I think it will. Right, and like, uh, I'll see you all next time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Frankie's bulper is up here, but then Frankie's Pulpers over here!